so in order for the ski today to be well manageable we need to get up this road but it's um proving to be difficult for the truck this is the bit where we usually get stuck as you can hear and see Daisy weather to do this. These are brand new. Oh, look at they come with instructions on a map. You can lay on the ground and keep yourself from getting dirty. Yeah. You want to give it a go, Viv? Oh, well, someone's got to film it. <laughs> Pull both outward to eliminate slack and tangles. Ah, the old extra part you don't need but end up, end up needing. Hopefully, we'll get up this road. Well, now that I'm an expert, we should be all right. You can do it without instructions? Yeah. All right, who needs these? Take five. All right, here we go. It's a good jazz song, so I, uh, I hope this works. Which part? What do you mean, which part? There's only one part of this. There's only one way this can work. <laughs> really? The car goes up the Because there's hill. lots of ways this could go wrong. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. There's only one way it will work. There's, there's a, it's, a, it's a binary system here. It's either up or sliding ass back down. Well, they're, they're on. How are they feeling? I won't know until I'm up there. Oh, oh we haven't gotten this far before. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look at all the cars at the top. Look at the extra distance we made. This is it, Viv. Are you shitting me? And look at everybody at the top doing just fine. No way. The road goes way further than this. I don't think so. Yeah, what's, what's that? That's the block. Are you shitting me? This is it? Yeah. This is what we came up for? That's what we put the chains on for. Fuck! Where, where do you think we're at? Saddle Creek Road. I don't think, I can't imagine we've gone up that far. Have we gone up that far? No, we're right here. Yeah. Yeah. So, so where's the rest of the road? Well, that's why he said it'd probably take us three hours. Where, where is the rest of the road though? Right there. So why can't we drive up it? The gigantic snow block in the way. <laughs> it's really distraught. <laughs> the road didn't go quite as high up as I would have liked. There is a very inconvenient snow blank, blank block bank. I'm upset with it, is what I am. Which means I've now got to walk up this road, which is clearly drivable. Clearly why the skis are designed this way. Well, not when there's a road. These skis are for like, you know, off, off country, back country, not front country where there's a road. Anyway, I'm gonna stop whinging. And I'm gonna focus on a good part about this, which is the fact that it's a beautiful day. I can feel my nose, my ears, and my fingers. And I might even yeah. be a little hot. No gloves. No gloves, look at that. Yeah. And there's Vivian Woo. skiing right past the ski lifts at Vail Ski Resort. She'd rather take the path. No, don't put words in my mouth. It was awesome. Just started out heading up a nice little fire road and uh, heading up to Bald Peak. I think we'll figure out which one that is. But what a beautiful day. Right? Yeah, I'm not disagreeing that the day is beautiful. It's awesome. I just think there are other ways to get up a mountain. So, Viv, I'm starting to get a little tiny uh, blister, a little pinch, a little sharp point in the side of my heel. Or actually up on my ankle a bit. And uh, I'm thinking we stop up here and, uh, get, I don't know, get, get uh, some moleskin on it or something. You think? But, sure. But, uh, Usually what I do is when I'm, you know, got a blister like this, a lot to take the gear off. So I just keep going until it's so painful that it kind of goes numb and goes away. And that usually works, but it's not so great afterwards. Then the pain all comes flooding back. So we started up today and we actually did a, uh, a live stream, which is really cool. Um, Cause we got a bit of signal. Uh, Cause Vale was right beneath us. We've now kind of turned enough switchbacks that we're uh, out of signal range. So we uh, finished the live stream and started filming ourselves 
as we disappear off into the mountains. These are people that left earlier than us. <laughs> hey there. How are you? Good, how was your day? Excellent, thank you. Appreciate Unreal, it. have a good one. So the plan is to be following them down. I don't know how long it's gonna take us to get up. I think as we mentioned in our live stream, uh, we're doing this route um, as a tip from our friend Mike Closure. He says he punches up this in about two hours. So considering he's a national champion at this sport, we're gonna add like another two hours on top of that. Yeah, because that's why Viv does this, is the down part. Yeah. Skiing down, which is awesome. It's awesome. I like this slow slog though. It's a bit introspective. Introspective, do you even know what the meaning of that word is? <laughs> Ouch. I mean, you're you're a thinker, but you're extra perspective. Yes, I'm not too. Fair point, I use that term incorrectly for my personality. Pushed up here into the timber, kind of going in and out of the aspen and into the evergreens and eventually we'll reach a point called timber line. But I think we got a ways for that and we'll push up out of these timbers. But it sure is pretty. Well, we're still slogging away up to Bald Peak. We're getting steep now. I think we still have a ways to go. Yeah, for a bald peak, it's discomfortingly not bald. <laughs> Which suggests it's a long ways off. Eric's got the rough job of breaking trail here. But uh, it's kind of either he does it for an hour or I do it for 10 minutes. So he's got the bigger reserve tank. So, unfortunately, given our little backcountry tour team here, it's the most efficient displacement of resources. This diesel engine's max speed right now. This is us poking over and it's not a full summit. This is the ridge line to the summit. It's there. I think we probably do that in 15 minutes. But what's the point though? We want to ski down this way. Sit on the summit, say we're on the summit. Yeah. That doesn't do it. That doesn't do it for me. <laughs> oh shit. So, you didn't mean to do that? up here on the top of Bald Peak. My thumbs. My thumbs are too cold. Are you recording? Yeah. Well, this might be a bit wonky, but... So we made it just below the summit of Bald Peak, which is just there, but uh, it's not worth skiing down from there because it's all rocky. So this is our summit at 3,700 meters. From here, we're gonna ski down and uh, it's been a pretty epic day. The sun is still shining. Bluebird day, just the wind rips across this summit.
making our way. It's Viv back there in the background off of uh, Bald Mountain, a peak through the Aspens. Oh man, this was, uh, it was, it was strenuous <laughs> for us, uh, but uh, we did it and it was worth it. We had a little uh-oh at the top where we got a little off track, but no dramas, that happens. And uh, I think although it was beautiful, we're both excited to get back to the truck and uh, maybe get something to eat, something hot to drink. We were so lucky it wasn't a freezing, freezing day. I mean, it was freezing, but it wasn't like zero, like the other day. There she is. Woo. What a day, what a day.